Hi, in this video, I will guide you how to submit the consolidated e invoice through Million Software System. So you are allowed to submit consolidated e invoice based on few situations, such as when the transaction with buyers that are requiring the standard e invoice, where the buyer didn't provide you the IC number or the TIN number. Another situation is for suppliers who issuing statements or bills on a periodic basis such as monthly or quarterly. So first, you go to sales and then cash sales. So normally for consolidated fee invoice, it's for working customer. So when the customer is made by immediate payment, so you issue cash sales for that buyer. So you can click add. And then if the customer didn't provide you the IC and the TIN number, so you no need to choose the customer code and leave it as cash account. And you straight away choose the item and then save product and then click save. So here you can choose either the customer is paid by cash, debit card, check or fund transfer. So now my customer is paid by cash, so I click OK. Okay, next, for customer 2, the customer also did request for the standard invoice, so I put as cash account. And then I choose the product. Okay, save product and hit save. Now the customer is paid by debit card. So I key in the amount here. So it pay for it by debit card. And then I click OK. Next for the third customer, it's also a walk-in customer that didn't provide the IC and TIN number. So I put as cash account. Then I choose the product save product and then save now the customer want to do fund transfer so i put the amount here and click ok now i have created three cash sales for consolidated buyers okay and then to submit for consolidated invoice i need to submit through the sales report so i go to sales and then sales report and then choose e-invoice document. Okay, for consolidated e-invoice, we submit at the end of the month and within the seven days of the next month, which is, let's say the document I created just now is within the November. So I must submit the consolidated invoice at the end of the month to gather all the invoice that didn't submit as a standard invoice. And then it must be submitted before the 7th of December. Okay, so here, the document type, I need to choose for cash sales and then show documents I choose, so not send yet. And then the date I put for 1st of November until 30th of November. And then I need to tick for consolidated e invoice and then I click refresh. So now here is the three listing of the cash sales that didn't submit as standard e invoice. So. To submit as consolidated e invoice, I need to check all the document here. Okay, so here it shows that the document haven't submitted to LSTM portal yet. So after check all the document, I need to click send. Are you sure you want to send? Yes. Record sends. Okay. Now there's no record here because I want to show the document not sent yet. So I need to change to send and then refresh. Now, it shows all the documents that have been sent to the LHTN portal. Okay, but the same document, I need to check whether it's already validated or not. So, I need to check the document and then I need to click the status to check the status of the document, whether it's validated or invalid. Are you sure you want to check the status? Yes. Checking complete. Okay. Now that the document is already valid, if you click refresh, it will change to validated. So now all the cash sales is already sent to LHTN portal. Next, if customer want to request for cancellation, make sure that the cancellation is requested within three days. So if you can see that this document is dated on 14th of November. If you request to cancel, wrong invoice detail. And then you click yes.
So you can see that this document is already cancelled and invalid because it is within 72 hours. But for document that has passed the 72 hours, let's say I want to cancel this document. If the customer is request for cancellation for the document from last month, click first and click cancel. So it will prompt out from the date of submission until now has been over 72 hours. So it will not allow you to cancel the document. So make sure that your customer um, check the invoice or receipt within the 72 hours, which is three days. If need cancellation, then it, you can proceed to cancellation within three days. Okay. Next, I want to show you if within the month of November, you are required to submit the consolidated invoice at the end of the month. Let's say the customer buy from you at today is 17th of November. And then you choose as cash account because it, the buyer not required the standard invoice. So he didn't provide you the IC and the PIN number. And then you just proceed as usual. Choose the product, save product, save and then make payment by cash and then OK. But later, if the customer want to request for standard invoice, uh, let's say at the after few days or the next week, but it must within the same month. So you can choose the document and make sure your customer remember the receipt number and then you click the e-invoice buyer. So here, you can fill in the customer details, name, address, phone, email. Here, if it's a business, you put a BRN, individual, you put NRIC and then tax identification number. So after the fill in, you can click OK. But if you want the customer to fill in the information for you, so you ask the customer to scan this QR code. And then after the customer fill in it at your phone, after scanning this QR code, after click submit, the portal will show up the QR code in the phone. So you need to scan the QR code using your scanner to update the information to your million system and then you click OK. Then as usual, you go to sales report, e invoice document, OK, and then you choose for cash sales. Then you don't need to click the consolidated e invoice because this customer requests for standard e invoice and then you click refresh. Now you can click the document for the customer that requests for the standard e invoice and then you click send yes okay and then you change the document to send refresh now you can see that this customer want to check the status now all the document is already validated okay next just now the buyer has requested for e invoice so you can print the receipt with QR code to the buyer. So let's say this customer is the e-invoice buyer. So you click print and then you choose cash sales with GST. And then you click preview. Now you can see that this uh, report is included with QR code, which is the LHDN validated QR code. Okay. First, I need to add the buyer. So for this buyer that I need to send for a consolidated e-invoice, I provide the name of the company. Let's say the company name is ABC Corporation. And then I put the address. And then I provide the phone number and email. Okay. And then I click save. Now, I need to create the invoice, so I go to sales and then invoice. Okay, so this invoice I issued at the end of the month because I compile all the service and item for this company because I build it monthly. Okay, so I click add and then I choose the company. Just now the company is ABC Corporation and then choose the product. Okay, and then I click. See. So this one, uh, you may put whether it is a internet service or a phone service. Uh, normally, this type of service we charge uh, the 
bi monthly or quarterly okay and then i click save okay next let's say the next company is xyz corporation this one is also i build them monthly so i choose the product and then i click save Now I have created two invoices to submit as consolidated invoice. So at the end of the month, I go to sales and sales report and go to e invoice document. The document that I choose invoice, show document I choose not sent yet. And then I choose the date from 1st of November until the 30th of November. And then I need to tick for a consolidated invoice. And then I click refresh. So here it got stated the company that I need to submit as a consolidated e-invoice. So I tick these three bills and then I click send. Are you sure you want to send? Yes. Records sent. Now I change the show the document to send and then refresh. Now all the bill has been sent as a consolidated e-invoice. And then I need to check all and then click status. Yes. Checking complete. Okay. After refresh, now you can see that all the document for invoice that I sent as consolidated e invoice is already validated. Next, if I want to preview the document just now, I just select the document, print, and then choose the format for text invoice. Preview. Now I choose 50%. Now you can see that the report for tax invoice for this invoice to XYZ Corporation has the LHTN validated QR code. Okay, so you can also send this report to your customer. So your customer can scan to check this invoice has sent to my invoice portal. Okay, that's it. You successfully learn how to submit a consolidated e invoice using Million Accounting System. Remember, this process helps you stay compliant with Malaysia's e invoicing regulation while ensuring accurate and efficient submission of your periodic transactions. To recap, uh, always ensure your records are complete, adjustments and rebates are accurately acted, and the submissions are made within the IRPM's timeline of seven days after month end. Okay? So if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to contact our support team. Bye.